Hi students, this is Miss Oberly again with lesson 10-2, Measuring Angles and Arcs. And um, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify central angles, arcs, minor arcs, major arcs, and semicircles, and use them to find their measures. All right, so let's skip over this. Let's talk about the big terms. A minor arc is the shortest arc connecting two endpoints of a circle and it is equal to its related angle. So this angle, angle X, would be the same as the measure of this arc angle. Uh, minor arcs are less than 180 degrees, whereas major arcs are greater than 180 degrees. And the major arc is the longest arc connecting two endpoints on the circle. And it would be um, 360 minus this angle would give us the measure of both this major arc and the angle in here. And semicircles, which I'm sure you are familiar with, are equal to 180 degrees. So, if LP is the radius of circle P, identify LO as a major arc, minor arc, or semicircle, then find its measure. Well, we know that this is less than 180 degrees, so it has to be a minor arc. And since this is a semicircle and half of the semicircle is 90 degrees, we know that the measure of arc LO is 90. LP is the radius of circle P and identify MLO. So this arc here as major, minor, or semicircle, and I think right away you're identifying that probably as a semicircle. Um, all right, if LP again is the radius of circle P, identify LNO as major, minor, or semi, and since this is greater than 180 degrees or greater than a semicircle, I know it's a major arc, and since this is 90 and this is a semicircle, we know it would be 270. Refer to the circle graph to find the measure of arc KL, so right here. Well, we know that 21 is to 100 as this X is going to be to 360, and then we know that that central angle is the same as that minor arc. So. is 75.6 degrees and realistically this angle does look less than 90 so that makes sense for this. Let's do the same thing for the measure of arc NJL. So here's NJL. So in this case I'm going to add up 26 plus 37 plus 21 and we can say that 84 is to 100 percent as X is to 360 and find that, that that measure of that angle is 302 degrees, actually 0.4, which looks about right. If the whole circle is 360, that makes sense to me. Um, would you be able to use the words radius, diameter, and circumference, and also arc to describe a pizza? Be thinking about that.